But let me start with uh, Greece. Uh, we have achieved significant uh, progress on the second review since the last Eurogroup in March. Uh, as you remembered then, um, on my initiative, we changed the, uh, the strategy, we changed the order of things, and we intensified talks to first of all reach an uh, agreement between the institutions and the Greek uh, government on the key elements um, the overarching elements of the policy package. We have an agreement on these overarching elements of policy in terms of size, timing and sequencing of the reforms and on that basis further work will continue in the coming days. I'm quite convinced that the time is ripe to bring an end to uncertainty which has been emburdening the Greek uh, economy for so long. On Cyprus, the um, economic situation uh, remains positive. Uh, growth picked up uh, last year and is expected to remain strong in 2017. Uh, Cyprus still needs to pursue prudent fiscal policies and the current bright economic climate uh, should make uh, that easier. The ongoing expansion in the Eurozone uh, is firming, <laughs> uh, will continue to firm uh, and broaden uh, in the Eurozone. And we see the path through uh, of our monetary policy measures supporting domestic demand, including investment. So the conclusion is that further business-friendly uh, reforms uh, remain necessary to uh, strengthen the recovery. I thought it was very important that the Eurogroup today discuss two issues, how to strengthen investment. The second one, um, we heard reports on the functioning of the banking union. In a longer-term um, context, this is actually, I think, more important than solving specific country-related problems.